Okay, so this is a nightmare bond problem. I'm just gonna let you know this right now. Don't skip over it. Try to get the intuition behind it because it really lets you know. It's surprising that this is worth the same amount of points as other uh, questions in, on an exam, but this one takes a lot more work to figure out. So there's a company that issues a five-year bond dated January 1st, 2015. It's important to remember dates are important all right so this one is identifying january 1st 2015 with a face value of 2 million that's the amount uh that is the par value it pays a three percent coupon rate all right and the comparable risk in terms for a, a bond of similar similar company and size and debt amount is about four percent that's the market rate of interest the sales proceeds, oh, they already they already figured out the present value. So the sales proceeds are 1.9 million uh, in total, 1,910,964. Under the effective interest rate method, the interest expense in 2017. Oh no, oh, oh no, no. All right, so it's 2017, it's 2015. What you're probably thinking, and this is how you're going to get royally screwed up on this. You're thinking, oh, it's 2017 and we issued in 2015. So that's going to be, um, that's going to be uh, two bond payments, right? Wrong. It's not going to be two bond payments. And the reason why is you issue it at the start of 2015 and it pays December 31st. So 2015, 2016, and 2017. Let me do that again. 2015, 2016, 2017. That means we have to go through three different payments to figure this out. Now, knowing how these guys do this exam, they probably are saying, okay, do you know what? We're going to put as answers year one's interest expense, year two's interest expense, so you can figure out what year three interest expense is. All right. Now, let's see if that's what they do on this problem. If if you want to just skip this and guess, you could probably just go with the highest one, but you'd have to know the intuition and know the way the payments are going to go, right? Let's let's go through this whole uh, one doing all the calculations to see if we can know what, what the answer is actually going to be. But if we know the directionality of it, then we might be able to take an educated guess. Okay, so the it's important to remember that this bond is issued at a discount so that not 1.9 million that's net the 2 million, right? One point, this, we have 2 million balance, right? 2 million is our balance there uh, that we have to pay as our par value. And then 1.910964, that is the discount. We need to find out for this T account, uh, the discount bonds payable. And remember it, it maintains a debit balance, right? So we need to net these two to figure out what our total balance is in our discount on bonds payable. So if we do that, we get 89,036. All right, so 89,036 is our discount on bonds payable. So our first payment is gonna be interest expense for the first one. Remember, we've gotta do three. So we'll do one, two, and three right here. So uh, if we do that net, the 89 minus the 2 million, we get this answer. Remember, it's good to think about it as two separate things because when we get to problem two, the answer for two and three, we'll, we'll want to be able to keep track of it. 1910964, that was the carrying amount given in the problem, times the market rate of interest, which is 4%. That's going to get us our interest expense which for the year should be 76,439. We take that net the amount that we pay in our coupon payment. And what's our coupon payment? That's 3%. So 3% times that 2 million is gonna be 60,000. So that net amount between those two is gonna be 16,439. So 16,439. And this is the amount, 16,439. And this is the amount that we're going to have to reduce our discount on bonds payable. So 16,439 is what we're going to discount our bonds payable, is going to reduce our discount on bond payable. All right. So this is the amount that gets amortized off of our discount on bonds payable. This is our interest expense. And this is our coupon payment right here. Okay. So we're ready to get uh, to the second payment. The second payment is going to be, again, it's going to be, I did the net here. It's going to be the, 
this two million net, and we have to net out whatever the balance is in our discount on bonds payable. It's going to be eighty nine three oh six minus the sixteen four three nine. It's going to be seventy two thousand. 597. That's what our net amount is. And so in this in this payment, we, we already had it computed, the net difference here, but we're gonna have to do it again. Two million, two million uh, net. So this was already a computed net. Don't get confused. This is the computed net between this amount right here, the 89,036 and the two million. We just did it a really quick way right there. Here we have to do it kind of longer. We'll do 72, the net, the new balance on discount on bond pay payable is 72,597. It's gonna be net that 72,597 that we have from below. That net amount is gonna be 1,927,000, about 403. Let me get that three better. And we're gonna take that times the 4% times our 0.04. And that is going to give us our interest expense uh, for the period. The interest expense for the period is going to be seventy-seven thousand zero nine six. Seventy-seven thousand zero nine six. Seventy-seven thousand zero nine six is the correct answer, and that's the answer to payment two. So this is where they really screw you up because you think it's only two years because it's 2017 to 2015 and you didn't count it out. There's no shame in counting it out on your fingers, 15, 16, 17, just to make sure. So we know A is wrong. If you put A, you're gonna get it wrong because that's the payment for that year. We then have to net the 60,000 from this. And if we net the 60,000 from this, we get a total amount, netted amount out, we get 17, 0.96. That 17.096 needs to be put down, at, needs to reduce our discount on bonds payable. Our discount on bonds payable will go down 17.096. 17.096, net the 72,597. The net balance is 55,501. We're gonna use that 55,501 for our third payment, which is gonna be 2 million net the balance of our uh, discount on bonds payable, which is 55,501. We take the net of those two. The carrying value on this is gonna be 1,944,499. All right, so 1,944,499. All right, that's the carrying amount. We have to take that times our market rate of interest. And if we take that times the market rate of interest, we're gonna get an amount of 77,780. 77,780. And guess what? That's the answer B. And so if you tried to jump ahead and say, oh, I bet you they have two different payments on there or three different payments on there, and you put C, you would have gotten it wrong. The correct answer is B, 77,780 is the correct answer. And that's, what, that's what's right. This is a very long problem.